hello guys in today's video we are talking about how to navigate mt4 and um, this is um, for ios that's iphone now the moment you open the app the moment you open the app you see it will bring you to the quotes now the quote is where you have the currency and um, the spread. Now this quote you can keep it on simple. When it's on simple, this is how it will be. You won't see the spread. Uh, you won't see what else. I think spread is mostly what shows. Then when it's in advance, you see the spread and time I think, yeah you also see the time so i advise you always keep it on advance then there's a quote now if you open the app newly or if your you create your account newly so you're logging in your account newly you're not going to have this much quotes so what do you do you see this plus sign at the top right corner you click on it and you can see other instruments so it let's say forex exotic or fx exotic you see these are other currencies if i click on any of them let's see like here is czk if i click on this plus sign you see it disappears from here then let's go back to the quotes you see it at the end look at it here so if you don't have this much um, currencies on your quotes you can come here this plus sign at the top right corner and you can add as many um, commodities as you wish you see this cash indices this is all of these you can add them you see that there are a whole lot you can add to your quote it's your choice depending on what you trade you can see all of these so also it also depends on the broker though if the broker has this much you'll also be able to add this much you can see all of these it can be added to the quote then after the quotes we have the charts we have the charts here the second icon down from the left the second icon down so in in the chart the this icon at the top left corner if you click on it it's showing h1 now that's because it's on the four hours time a one hour time frame so if you tap on it you can change your time frame from here you see it's now in d1 that's daily this w1 that's one week you can go to mn that's monthly so you can do all of this this where you change the time frame this is where you change the time frame and um, this plus sign here is where um, you used to mark your points for example you want to um, choose a point for your stop loss and take profit you can use it here you can use it here so this is it then the f sign here is if you want to add some indicators to your screen now you can see we have main window we have indicator window now if you want to add let's say the bollinger band you come here main window you see all of these are indicators you want to add okay this bollinger band you see all of these are lots of indicators so let's say we want to add bollinger band to our um main window you just tap here and you have these options it's already it has a default setting personally i don't see any reason to alter the default settings you just click on done 
and we have the Bollinger Band. Then it dies just like that. If you want to remove it, you click on the F sign and come here. Bollinger Band. Um, to edit. Okay, yeah. Edit and you delete so it's deleted now you click on done you come back here you see it has disappeared so that's the how to add and remove indicators then the other icon at the top is this this is where you add and remove objects from your screen so all these are objects you see the horizontal line fibonacci and vertical line trend line and the rest so all of these are all of these are in objects so this is where you find objects when i tap on add objects add objects and you see all of these objects you just tap on the one you want to use let's say i'm tapping on the horizontal line I come here and click it. Sorry. So you can see the horizontal line. Can adjust it to wherever I want it to be. So if I want to remove it, I'll come back here, click on the icon, and tap on the delete icon at the top right corner okay so we've deleted we've deleted it and it is out of the screen then so if after setting after determining your um, stop loss and take profits region or the figures you can just tap on trade here at the top right corner trade and it brings you to this window here all you have to do is enter your stop loss value you can see here um the take profit value at this point and you tap on buy or sell so you can alter the value you enter whatever you want or whatever is right for you you can also alter that of the stop loss and enter whatever is right for you you can change your lot size from here 0.1 it's your choice 1.0 is your choice so it's your choice to choose it's your choice on what lot size you're trading with so once you've entered the lot size the stop loss and the take profits you can tap buy or sell so that's okay coming back here now the third icon on the screen that's yeah that's the third icon counting whether from the right or the left is the trade now this way you have a balance and don't mind these credits because of um, the broker i use that's why you can see this credit but if you're not using the broker i'm using you're likely not to see this credit um equity margin free margin and margin level percentage your balance is what you're seeing here the main balance of course this is just one of my accounts i decided to use this for this video because this is what's up this what is on these accounts i can't use my main account for this video yeah and you can see there's no running trade so it's just a pure account um equity 
what you're seeing, your margin. I remember I explained margin. All right. Now, if you have running trades, if you take a trade, like after, like the demonstration I did here, the moment you take a trade, it will be already start here. So you see it on right here. Today is Sunday, market is not running, so I can't take a trade as a demonstration. If I do, look at what will happen. This is what will happen. Market is closed, so I can't take a trade now. So if you have any running trade, this is what it will be registered here. And um, the next icon by the right side is the history. Every trade you close, this is where it will be registered. Every trade you close, whether it's closing profit or in loss, whether it hits stop loss or it hits take profit or you don't want to close by yourself, this way it's going to be registered. Then this is the site for setting. This is site for setting. So um, you can manage more than one account here on the same app. Yeah, you can manage more than one account by you can add a new account here. So if you're opening a demo, let's say you want to um, know about a broker, you want to check their spread. You can just come, you don't need to go to the broker's website to create a demo account. You just come to MT4, open a demo account from here, search for the broker's name. Let's say, um, let's say FXTM, you see? You can find FXTM. So if you want to do FXTM demo, you can just type here FXTM ECN zero demo. FXTM ECN demo. So you just click here and you create the demo account and that's all. So you tap on register here and the account is created. So like I've always said, it's not necessary to go to a broker's website to start creating a demo account. Then if you want to add a live account, this this where you click on, log into an existing account. The same procedure, you just type the brokers, the server of the broker. Um, okay, you see I have them trading here, I have FXTM. So once you tap on, let's say M trading, you enter the login and the password, then sign in that's all you're in then so you're going to have the second account registered here all you do is tap here and you have these accounts pop up like you can see there is more than one account here i'm managing okay then under this setting you have Okay, this is another feature you like to know about charts. You can see charts here. Here is where you can change the kind of charts you're using. I'm using candlestick. You can see stick right. There is bar charts. There is line chart. So any of them you click, it's going. That's what's going to show on your on your chart. Okay, for example, you see I'm currently on candlestick. If I click on line charts, let's go back. You see what it is? This what's this line chart. So come back to settings, charts, candlestick. That's what I do. Then here you can you can hide your period separators period separator by turning this off you can turn off your trade levels you can turn off your volume you can turn off your axe line all of these is your choice okay after turning them off look at what the chart looks like you see 
so even if i take a trade it will not be registered here on the screen so all of this is your choice it's your privacy you know there are times you could open your chat and someone looks at your phone and he's seeing where you enter the trade and where the chat has gone to so if you want to retain such privacy you could choose to keep your um your trade levels off here then period separators is what helps you to know um the days that the end of a day into the next day for example this is on the one hour chart you know that you can see this white serrated line and you know, that's between a day and the next one that's where a trading day ends the next trading day starts that's it then if we go to the weekly time frame I think from here to here is one month or it's more it's more four hours yeah I think from this one to this one is a week a week i guess so you can turn off all of these and turn them on as you choose this um ax line look at it on the chart yeah, it shows you where the market is currently at that the value per time so all of this you can control it then you can change the color of your charts you can see color here still this was still on the setting you can see color down here you can from here you can change the color of your candlesticks you can change the background you can change the foreground all of this so let's say this is um bull candle i can change the color from here so anyone you click that's what it will be and you save then that's what you have but i don't want to alter anything on mine so that's why it's i'm leaving it the way it is so that's how to navigate mt4 um we don't have a running trade i would have shown you how to close a trade but maybe on a on a day we have the market running i might do another video on how to open and close trade but i'll show you how to open you can i can repeat the process you tap on trade here it brings you here you enter stop loss and take profit um and your lot size then you click buy or sell once you click on the buy it's going to enter the trade like i say today the market is closed that's why it's showing market close so i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can write in the comment section if you enjoyed the video do well to give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel before leaving Thank you for your time. See you in our next video. Hi, are you looking for a platform that you can have your Forex accounts managed? I mean a profitable and reliable platform, not one that's going to make you promises then end up blowing your account. You can see like the results we present here. We manage accounts. We are a group of Forex um, traders we manage people accounts we do training we do um, signal provision but if you're interested in our account management service go to www.noahenterprise.com i repeat www.noahenterprise.com and you go to the account management page of the website you're going to see our terms for service then if you're interested you are okay with those terms then you just fill the form below and we're going to contact you and we do business together See you inside. Bye.